Welcome back everyone to episode 11 of Heralds of Espana. This episode we are going to focus on fixing our die shortage as well as continuing to bolster our military to complete this journal. And my goal is truly at the end of this episode have a navy that uh, is comparable to a lot of the other great powers. So looking at our market, our the price of dies has gone just crazy. It's up to 55 and uh, we have a negative balance of 256. And we're currently building three plantations. And if we took a look at those die plantations, each add 25, so we're adding 75. We might need to add like two more, so we'll add two more to Guinea. And I think that should suffice for our die shortage. And then right after that, we're immediately gonna queue a whole bunch of Navy ships. Um, do we have that bug still with the, yes. So lower this, uh, we'll need to add another Admiral Dock Organizer. Let's just do this guy. I know he's a landowner, but it should be fine. Oh, well, we could have promoted one of these guys as well, but we'll do with this. We'll add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll add 10 frigates. That'll bring us up to 47, and then we'll add 10 men of wars. Perfect. We have a good surplus right now with our economy, and we have also some diplomatic points. We might want to continue to look for a good ally for our nation so we can complete that journal entry. If we go to the... Diplomatic actions. Are there any major powers? Ooh, people would change to our customs union? No, no one seems like they would go to our customs union. Who could we improve relations with? Let's organize it by cost, so the higher ones are towards the top. Uh, Scandinavia, we'll improve with. And that eats that up. We'll go into our laws. And I think it is time. We go to homesteading. Instead of tenant farmers. Unlocks new production methods. Yeah, we'll do homesteading for our land reform. And we are really starting to fall back on wood. I think we could just go with importing a few right now. And we'll also address our surpluses as well and see if we can get some more export routes. But we're running a little low on convoy, so we'll keep that in mind as we look for export routes. Um, we'll send some to Austria. We also have Italy wishes to... Oh my god. Oh, enter their custom union. No, sorry, guy. I thought they wanted to join ours for a second. That would have been amazing. And did we get rid of this civil war progress? We did. So now we can start looking at Messina. Um, if we go to Conquer State. Oh no, we're going to make them a protectorate. So make protectorate. This will generate 7.1 infamy. Hopefully no one crazy hops into this. Uh, let's see if we can add any other war goals. And slavery, open market. No, I think that's fine. Hopefully no other nation's really privy on joining this conflict. But I think because they're such a smaller nation, we won't have that issue. We'll go ahead and go to our military tab and deploy our first Spanish army. We'll mobilize them and we'll set them to deploy to the Messina front. Oh, we have a huge convoy deficit right now. Now I'm wondering if that, that still doesn't make it productive. That is very, very interesting. Um, if we were to build more ports, that might 
solve the issue. Oh, it does. It increases. I wish I would have thought of this earlier. All the woes of not knowing how to increase the, the clipper cost. We just need to build more ports. Um, we will build one in... Let's check who has the highest job seekers. Valencia can be a pretty big port city. A nice Mediterranean stronghold right there. I think Galicia would be a great one as well. And... Um, Asturias or Navarra? I think Navarra is a better choice. We'll build a few there. And we'll take those and we'll actually put those ports towards the top, at least two of them. Our army is just landed in Guinea and they're heading over to the Messina front. We have rubber discovered in Eastern New Guinea. Very nice, rubber rush. Eastern New Guinea. Is that here? Hmm. Spanish Gabon, we got rubber going there, and that is continuing to colonize into Fang. Our colony in Papua is growing quite nicely as well. I wonder if there's a way we can increase our coffee consumption. Oh, it actually has increased some over time. Uh, meats, we have a surplus of... Luxury clothing is always a high ticket item. We'll send some over to the Qing. And homesteading success chance is now 20%. So we'll likely get that passed. And we have improved fertilizer, which this could solve our grain deficit and make grain a lot cheaper. So we'll take a look at our buildings, go to our rural, and we will first do millet. I think it increases. Oh, wow. Yeah, look, 200 more. We'll go to that. Fertilizers, fertilizers over in Western Mali. It's going to greatly increase the price of fertilizers which means more industrial jobs for mainland Spain. Um, improved. Yes, well, you will do that. Extremely productive building. And our GDP is back into an exponential growth. And our standard of living is now at 11.4. And I think if we take a look at our ledger here, we are, let's see who, as, well, let's do it by... Oh, conflict broke out. We'll pause real quick. Um, if we go by Great Powers, our standard of living is almost as high as Great Britain's. We've passed Russia. We've passed Prussia, Austria, Italy. So we're doing quite well. I love the new animations that they've had. I know I've said this before, but it's just such a nice touch. And even looking at mainland Spain, I love watching the sprawling of the cities as your country grows. Spanish ink is losing prosperity, papers ink, because papers are not that prosperous anymore. Cost of sulfur is quite high. Um, oh, whoa. No kidding. Uh, we'll add dynamite over there. Where else do we have some sulfur mines? None here. Is it only in that province? Let's double check the easier way. Yeah, Western Andalusia is the sulfur pit. We might want to add one more. And I just want to check the cube real quick. What we're working on. Ports are finishing up. Then we'll do the railway logging camps. All right, very good. And just like that, we have essentially defeated Messina. And they'll slowly become a part of our empire as a subject. And we could also... Oh, we could colonize uh, Timbuktu. That has a lot of sulfur, a lot of coal, population, 95,000, so not much.
But that could be a great option. What about Ulata? What do you have? Iron Mines, Livestock. I think Timbuktu is, or Ada, but Timbuktu, the nation, would be a great puppet as well. Or maybe even taking it for ourselves. That's something for us to think about. Um, we're still colonizing here. Can we add any buildings? We could add um, some coal mines. Do we have demand for coal? We do, so that will create some profitable jobs for that area. Law debate failed, that's okay. Uh, a trade route is inactive. I'll cancel that. Market access is starting to drop in a few places. Uh, well, that just fixed itself. Transportation shortage in Guinea. So our, we need to in, either increase the port, right? Because infrastructure, oh, no, no, no. They need actual rail. So they already have steel. We'll increase it. This is the number two railroad in the world. That is pretty crazy. Number two railroad is in Guinea. And let's see if we can go ahead and send our peace demands. Make protectorate. Set that. And we'll go ahead and set our army back to our uh, HQ. Yes. And just like that, they're heading back to Spain after a successful conquest in Messina. The return heroes. We have quite the bit of surplus. I think we can move our speed up again. And we have a lot more in diplomatic influence to use. So we'll take a look at our diplomatic options. They capitulated. They have become a protectorate. Great news for our empire. Do we want to... Let's see. Make protectorate. We could... We have organized sports. It's fun. Um, customs union. Constantine would join our customs. With an obligation. Where is Constantine at? Uh, we'll go to diplomatic action. Uh, actions. We'll go to customs union. Constantine. Oh, they're right here. What do they have? They have a lot of iron. Yeah, you know what? I would love to have you in our customs union. So if we look at our market and our members within our market, we now have Constantine, we have Messina, we have Moguandanu, the Philippines, and Cuba. Very good. Oh my gosh. Our balance is crazy high now. And I think we'll move up our naval bases. I feel like this hasn't finished. Okay, there you go. All right, they're starting to work on naval bases. All those improvements will slowly eat away at our money. But I think for now we can build up an adequate reserve. So whenever we do expand, we're not going to be hit, taking a hit to our treasury. So a lot of expanse, expanses for our empire. Great moves. 
British East Africa is huge. Oh my. Um, Liberia. They're wary. I kind of want to eat you. Maybe going for Liberia would be a great move as well. They have how much population? 1.2 million? But if we were to take them ourselves... No, I think we just have them be a puppet. Because they don't really have any resources that I can't really attain within my own empire. Or the territories we already have. Can we... I guess there's a cooldown on when you can declare war. Oh, Great Britain just took uh, New Guinea. They're making moves. I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive ourselves. Um, I think rolling. If we were to go to Diplomatic Demands, and we said, make Protectorate, Portugal. We could add Morocco. They have a whole bunch of sulfur. Our reef. Mm, what's the population here? 1.68 million. God, we have such a surplus. Um, I'm trying to decide if we want to take this for ourselves or make them a puppet. They have adequate infrastructure. Logging's maxed out, a lot of sulfur mines. Eighteen. Minus nine, minus nine. I don't want to regret doing this. What are our relations with Great Britain right now? Because I don't want them to hop in with us in this conflict. They're cordial. We're going to do it. We're going to start making some ballsy plays here, ladies and gentlemen. And expand a little bit more aggressive now that we have the finances for it uh, I really want to add more population pool to our empire as well uh, so we are going to make protectorate Italy sided with Morocco that isn't good France sided Morocco. Okay, we might need a back down. Supporting. Yeah, that's too much. We're going to have to back down from this. Oh, no. They would get Spanish reparations. Who could we sway? We could sway Great Britain. What would they want? No, you're not getting Eastern Andalusia. Um, it's 159. 
Zero percent. We're actually going to back down from this. I'll pay reparations to them. It's a costly play, but I don't think it's worth us doing a prolonged war of attrition and risking any serious changes to our empire besides paying some reparations, which I think it shouldn't be too long. Let's see, get this tooltip to stay. Diplomatic packs, 23,000. Wow. Well, <laughs> we, we can afford it, luckily. Oh, what a costly mistake. I think next time that happens, we'll fight that war, but our army's just not there. We don't have the artillery appropriate for this. Um, we actually should add, like, 10 more artillery. So, Castile, you'll get 10 artillery troop. And we have still have that transportation shortage, ammunition shortage on the market. I think we can solve that by maybe changing the production method for the ammunition, the munition plants. Yes, we can. Explosive shells that would solve the shortage. It's going to make it unproductive. We are going to do rotary. Awesome. We are a great power. Very cool. And that's rocketing up slowly but surely. And I think we'll even surpass Italy here very shortly. So that munitions plant. Where is that? We could subsidize. We can't subsidize it. I think we might just deal with expensive um, munitions for a little bit. Possi Maybe there's another munitions building that our private sector had built that we can improve the production methods for without having to change. Ah, yes. Awesome. Eastern Andalusia. We can go with explosive shells there. Perfect. And fertilizer is still extremely expensive. We'll take a look at our fertilizer plants. We have improved fertilizer there. We can go improved here. We will go improved in Catalonia. Um, and improved and Toledo. Still could go, honestly, I think we can go with all fertilizer plants being improved. Paper mills, we need to help the productivity for some of these places. If we went water boiler tube, that's going to be, I don't trust that tooltip. I feel like that would become more profitable. We could add some more coal production as well. That would help drive down the price of coal and in turn making all the buildings that require coal more pro um, productive. So 60, 30 more explosives. We will do that. Perfect. Uh, Valencia, if we did dynamite, that's fine. We'll add you on dynamite. Everyone's on dynamite now with coal. And Asturias, if we were to add rail, it would make it extremely more expensive. However, I believe this is one of the areas where we didn't switch to steel passenger cars, and it is. And then we can also add another rail to... Um, where else do we have coal that's not Castile? It's not on rail. So we'll take a look at our railways here. I think they are on steel passengers. They are. We can go to rail transportation. Perfect. 
Perfect. We're already number seven. Yeah, we just needed to expand our military. That's all it was. Go to our military ledger. We now have 48. Closing in on Spain. And we will continue to add to our navy. This bug really drives me nuts. We'll do this, we'll add two more men of wars. Then we'll go to our frigates. That'll put us at 52. And we can get six more frigates. I bet you our shipyards are becoming profitable once more. Did we finish those ports? We did. I want to add some more ports because we need more convoys. Add one to Western Andalusia. We'll add a couple over here to Eastern. Um, I think Asturias could add one and Valencia. Can we change the production method for the ports? Not yet. It's already cargo. Railway. We have some that are not on Steam. I don't see where. We'll just go ahead and switch it all to Steam. Oh, I see. Okay. Exempt. We'll exempt them from that. Aragon. Okay, so Aragon is not profitable to do so, but we can easily change that. Perfect. Six more coal and steel passenger. It's Academy. Yeah, we definitely need more ports, so I am going to take these ports and throw them towards the top. Because I think it's preventing people from being able to buy more of our goods. How long do we have to pay these reparations for? Diplomatic packs. For eight years. Oh man, what a costly mistake. Nineteen million, almost at twenty million pops. We're at number six now. Oh, this is awesome. And we'll shortly pass. Austria once we get some more of those naval ships online. I'll bump this guy up. Perfect. We have untrained hands. Um, I think we want to change, oh we don't, we can't really do that. It's 10% income for that. Dedicated police force, we're working on homestead. We have professional army, free trade, laissez faire. 
Perfect. Regulatory bodies. Poor laws. Um, maybe switching to no migration controls will also be a great move. But we'd also need to switch national supremacy. Catholic Church opposes that. Freedom of conscience. Is it time we reform our government? If we were to reform... So we'll reform to the industrialist intelligentsia puts us up to a legitimate government. So we get additional loyalists. Wow, this is, it's been forever since I've seen positive loyalists compared to radicals. I think that is a large part due to our increases in the law enforcement. Do we want to add another level? I think so, because we have that journal entry about the... Uh, 33 months. I don't think we'll do it in time, unfortunately. Whaling industry. Any whaling industry is above 25%. Where do we have whaling industry? We have one in Guinea, which... It's very confusing that we have Papua New Guinea and then Guinea in Africa as well. Um, what can we do to make this more profitable? Nothing right now, unfortunately. Finishing up these ports, it's going to add more convoys. Total usage, port connections, trade routes. We now have homesteading. Awesome, we'll go to laws, see if we can switch this. Catholic Church doesn't endorse this. Colonial migration controls. It would take a huge hit to our standard of living, though, if we had a influx of immigrants to come in right now. But it would grow our population. Uh, I don't want to do that private health insurance is a great option too because this one gives plus one standard of living for lower strata this says for upper strata minus 20 percent pollution effect reduction minus four percent mortality per wealth so as our citizens become more wealthy that's a good law to pass but the trick is to get them there first. Uh, the Americans won't take that. We really got to fix our convoy situation. Um, let's go to our ports. And we'll add one in Belairs. We'll add one to... Oh, what is this tooltip? Uh, it's because we don't have enough convoys, so it's starting to become an issue for all of our trade routes. I didn't know that. That's a good thing to know. Uh, we'll max out Valencia.
What's our flotilla at now? 50 ships. Number 7. If we go to construction, then we're going to start building some barracks. We'll get those artillery guys online. Um, real quick, that's going to finish 3. And then we'll add 1 to Puerto Rico. We'll do that up top. Messina is within, yeah, they're in our empire. We will start improving relations with them. We also should improve relations. Oh, Cuba's good. Do we want to incorporate Puerto Rico? What's their standard of living? 9.4. I don't think so. Population shrinking. Due to mortality. Oh, I just went all the way around the world by accident. I was trying to look over at the Philippines. Um, the Philippines, they are loyal to us, hopefully. Yeah, let's zoom out further. They are loyal. Oh, more people are hopping into Guinea. I see some conflicts in the future over this. Um, coal, coal. Really, coal is kind of cheap. I don't think that's an issue. I will expand by one in Aragon. Food industries are not profitable right now. And I think it's because glass is starting to get expensive and liquor is cheap. If we did prioritize groceries, that will increase the productivity. Yeah, perfect. Um, fertilizer plant. I think we solved our fertilizer woes. We don't really have any expensive goods on the market right now. We have plenty of cheap ones, though. Yeah, I think the way we improve our industry now is by doing more convoys. We should probably go into a tech that expands our ability to improve our docks. Camera. If we could find where that's at. Oh, that's good. I'll add that. It's more identification documents. Is it under... Oh, I think so. Maybe a base limit. Port max. Okay, we are already working that. And it goes perfect. Read my mind in the past. So we'll be able to go to industrial ports. And then we'll also have a higher port max level. Two birds with one stone. Perfect. We got a lot done this episode. We got some new territories. We became a great power. Got to rank 7. Climbing up our way up the ladder. And um, yeah, I think this is a great place to end the video. Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe and like. See y'all next time.